For this pizza, we'll be taking six eggs to make the pizza base. Now, in a bowl, I'll be adding three whole eggs and three egg whites because too much of egg yolks should not be consumed. You can also use an egg separator to separate the white from the egg. Once done, I'll be adding in some coriander leaves, finely chopped. One small green chilli finely chopped, half a teaspoon of black salt and one fourth teaspoon of black pepper powder. Now with the help of a whisk or a fork, whisk the eggs mixture well. Now in a pan, I'm adding half a teaspoon of Nutrilite spread. You can also use any butter or oil of your choice. Spread the butter evenly on the pan. And now pour in the egg mixture. Turn the flame to low heat. Now we'll be pushing in the mixture towards the center of the pan. This will help the omelette in becoming fluffy and thick. Now cover it with a lid and let it cook for 3 to 4 minutes. Once it's done, we'll be flipping over the omelette with the help of a pan since it's difficult for the spatula to hold the weight. Now I'll be applying 2 teaspoons of pizza sauce on top of it. You can use any pasta or pizza sauce that's available. Now I'll be adding half an onion finely sliced. Next I'll be topping in some capsicums finely sliced. and half a tomato de-seeded finely sliced. You can also use mushrooms, black olives etc. Now add in some salt, little bit of pepper. Now I'll be adding 2 cheese cubes grated and cook for about one minute. Once done, the pizza is ready. Take it out on a flat plate and cut it evenly with a pizza cutter. Now I'm finishing it off with some Italian seasoning. You can use oregano chili flakes as per your choice. Guys, if you're having this pizza on a regular basis, please limit the amount of cheese. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Crazy for Health. Today we'll be making super easy and super delicious all natural high energy protein bars. We'll start by taking half a cup of peanut butter. Here I'm taking homemade peanut butter and we'll add one fourth cup of honey onto it. Now turn on the flame to low heat and melt both of these together. Do not cook. Once it's nicely melted, we'll be turning off the flame. 
and now add 1 cup of oats, 1 fourth cup of crushed almonds and 2 teaspoons of flax seeds. Now mix this well till it forms a nice dough. Now take this mixture out in a flat tray and spread it evenly into a block. Once done, sprinkle some almond powder on top. And allow it to chill in the fridge for around 10 to 15 minutes. Once done, take it out and cut it into 9 equal squares. And now, your high protein energy bar is ready. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for future updates with me. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. We'll start by making the filling first. For that, take a cup of crumbled paneer. To that, add capsicum, yellow and red bell peppers. Next, add green chilies, ginger and garlic paste, onions, coriander leaves, Garam masala, salt, black pepper powder, and fresh cream. Now mix all of this together. and make a smooth mixture. The mixture is now ready. Next, we'll be taking bread slices and cut the edges. Now with the help of a rolling pin, roll the bread evenly Apply pizza sauce on top of it. Then add the mixture to one side and firmly press and roll applying a little bit of water in the end. This mixture would make around 10 to 12 cigars. Now cut the sides to make an even cigar roll. Once done, heat a pan and add butter. Now we will be roasting the made cigars. Keep applying butter to all sides of the cigar so that they roast evenly. Flip and roast till all the sides are evenly coated with the butter and they turn brown. This would take around 8 to 10 minutes. Keep the flame on low heat.
After 8 to 10 minutes, you will notice that the bread has turned brown and they are now crisp. Take the cigars out in a plate and serve hot. You can also present it in a different manner by cutting them from the middle and placing them in a serving platter. And now your crispy cigars are ready. First in a grinder, take whole bajra, jowar, you can also add ragi and now grind them into a fine powder. If you have jowar and bajra flour, that is perfectly fine. Now take them out in a bowl, add basin. Plain good. Now add chopped methi leaves. Dry roasted flax seeds powder. A little turmeric powder. Salt to taste, kalonji that is black sesame, ginger garlic paste and now I'm going to add finely chopped green chilies. So green chilies are as per your choice so you can add more or add less as per your taste. Finally I'm going to add a small teaspoon of oil. And now with the help of our hands, we need to make a smooth dough out of it. So I'm not going to add any extra water since the methi has its own water and the curd along will help making the dough. But if still the dough looks like a bit uh, firm, you may add a little bit of water. The dough is a little bit dry. I'm going to add just a little water. and make a smooth dough. The mixture is now ready. Now in a pan, I am going to heat a teaspoon of ghee. Next, take a small portion of the mixture Flatten them with the help of your hands, just like a vara and roast them on a medium flame for around 5 to 8 minutes. You may choose to fry the varas but I prefer roasting them since it becomes a little bit healthier in that way. This mixture will make around 16 to 17 varas. After 2 minutes, flip over and we'll keep cooking them till they become golden brown in colour. Now cover the pan with a lid and let it cook for 3-4 to four minutes. The varas have become brownish in colour from one side, so we're gonna cook from the other side as well. As you can see, they look crispy and all cooked. So I'm going to take them out now in a plate and get my hands ready with the second lot of varas.
these varas are a perfect snack option for the weight watchers or if you like having something really different from your regular biscuits so my next batch is also done now we're going to take all of them out the varas look beautiful and they're crispy now in a platter i'm placing the varas i have coriander and mint chutney by the side now it's ready to be served and the crispy varas are ready enjoy them with green chutney do give this recipe a try and let me know in the comment section if you found it delicious and in case of any feedback do comment So first I'm taking 3 slices of whole wheat bread. Now we're going to cut the corners. If you don't have whole wheat bread, just use plain white bread. Next, we will be toasting the bread from one side. Do not toast on the other side. As you can see one of the sides have become a little golden brown so I'm going to take them out Next we'll make the garlic butter for that I'm taking a bowl and into that I'll be adding neutralite spread Neutralite is a healthy alternative to regular butter so I have used it but you can anyways go ahead and add any butter Next I'm adding crushed garlic just a little pinch of black pepper powder and little pinch of salt and give this a good mix the butter should be in room temperature our garlic butter is ready and now i've taken cheese cube that i've created and into that i'm adding mixed herbs if you don't have mixed herbs just add any seasoning that you have oregano chili flakes etc and a bit of red chili powder this is optional you can add red chili flakes instead and mix the cheese well our butter and cheese mixture is now ready now we'll apply butter on the side that is toasted so take a generous amount of the butter and apply evenly on the side that is toasted already since we will all we will be toasting the other side now once done top the bread slices with uh, the grated cheese mixture And now they are ready to be roasted. So in a flat pan, grease some of the butter that we made. And now place the cheese toast carefully. Keep the flame to low to medium and cover the pan with a lid and let this bread cook for around 2 to 3 minutes till the cheese is nicely melted and the bread is crispy from the other side. 
so we'll check in between after 2 to 3 minutes roughly the bread slices are ready to be served the cheese has nicely melted and they are looking just amazing the aroma of the garlic the cheese and the butter is just divine as you can see the bread has become crispy golden brown in color this is the perfect texture that we want now i'm going to plate it so i'm going to cut the bread slice into half cut it into triangles or just leave it as it is and serve these cheesy garlic bread slices hot along with tomato ketchup or any dip that you have and now a beautiful looking cheese garlic bread is ready